people welcome to my channel my name is Bimi Faith and this is motivated and inspired so today ha 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 we're gonna talk about one of those topics that well well let's get straight to it okay let's talk about how it feels like living in Spain coming from Ghana Africa oh simply how it feels like living in Spain as a brown skin girl or let's just talk about how it is to live in a white land as a black woman. Okay, let's go straight to it. So <laughs> this this video, okay, is, is is coming straight from my heart. I really don't write scripts, so it's gonna come straight from my heart. It's all about how I feel, how I feel as a person, as a woman coming to this country, okay. Um, first of all, I would like to say you're all entitled to your opinions and entitled to your experience. Experiences are different and the community you live in, the friends you have and the people you associate yourself with add up to what your experience will be like. And this is my experience, my personal experience living in Spain for five years, specifically living in Barcelona for five years and counting now. I will say it's been amazing, okay? I feel the kindness from people, the genuine kindness, the kindness that you're not uh, being expected to do anything in return for, unlike how I felt when I'm in Ghana. That's how I felt. From the very first day I stepped my foot into this country, I felt like freedom is here. You know what kind of freedom I'm talking about? The freedom whereby you can wear whatever you want by not being judged. You can look however and whatever. Either you look like a bossy, a bitch, um, uh, you look like a religious person, you look like whatever, like a gypsy or hipsy or whatever they call them. You can look anything and nobody is really going to judge you. Truth, people will stare at you, people will look at you normally, but not like. You know that kind of stare that we have as Africans or African descendants? We have that kind of look that is so judgmental that makes you like the person is not really talking, but you 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 you're already feeling it, you're feeling that fire, you know that kind of that put too much pressure on us we have to stop that so i don't feel that way here i feel welcomed i feel respected and i feel loved than i was in ghana for example in ghana if i'm going to a four star hotel i'm being expected to dress even one star even one star or zero star hotel okay people are expecting so much from you the societal expectation from an individual is so high and it's so enormous this is why a lot of people have to do everything just to survive. We respect more people by their appearance, by what they have, by what they drive, by how they look. And that is just fucking bullshit here. Nobody cares about what you drive. Nobody cares about that. Really. Nobody cares about that. That's not to say there are no people who don't care about that. But on the highest level, you're free. You can have a kind, it's no big deal. You cannot have a kind, it's no big deal. You can dress up and look really rich and there is no big deal. As much as you're not stinky, who cares? If you're super naked, nobody's telling you shit, but people are looking at you. But nobody is telling you shit. If you don't know and you wear a very short mini skirt in Ghana, you will be harassed on the street, you will be fingered. This is because I have experienced it in Ghana. I was not fingered, but I was almost until the police came in to rescue me. Truth, I'm not joking. I'm not even lying about this. Yes, and a lot of people who have uh, experienced this were attested to this when they watched this video that yes, this can happen or is bound to happen in Ghana if you wear a mini skirt or a very short, short pant. I see people here, I see the teenagers here and even some grown-ass women here wearing stuff that you could see like the important part of their body on, 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 on the public tray out there. But nobody is saying shit and I love that. I love that people can be themselves. 
okay it's okay for people to be themselves and it's so beautiful that is the beauty of of humans the beauty of life the, the beauty of differences and and diversity that people are different and yet we have to respect them or yet we do respect them that's how i feel as a black woman or as an african as a Ghanaian living in spain i'm not being judged okay i went to some hotels for instance in ghana and um i was so embarrassed several times like when you're not dressed when you're not on heels with heavy makeup with extensions and nails on huh the way they treat you is different from when you are wearing all those things which is stupid because those that doesn't define who you are and what is in your heart and what is in your mind it's just material things that anyone can wear i can borrow them to wear and look so good it doesn't mean that i have a brain it doesn't mean that i have a good heart you know but this is how our society in ghana is you're being respected by that and i don't feel that way so for me it's like liberty it's like oh god like look 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 this is my hair this is my baby dreads this is my baby dreads and this is grown so it looks a little bit crazy but when i twist it it looks great I can go to everywhere, anywhere, even with this, crazy like this, I can go out, nobody is questioning me, nobody is saying, oh, you have this hair, so I, I'm a therapist, I'm a professional wellness specialist or expert or professional, and I work in a hotel foster, and I go with my hair like this, sometimes I scarf my hair, and nobody says shit to me, because I have a brain, knowing that I have to look presentable, and as much as I'm presentable, nobody cares about your hairstyle or the color of your hair because that doesn't define you but in ghana yes it does matter why wouldn't people encourage dreadlocks or natural hair in ghana because i heard some teachers in ghana even have problems when they cut their hair they have problems when they wear dreadlocks and this is coming from a teacher who is going through this experience in ghana the headmistress of the school doesn't allow her to wear her hair fuck but it's okay when you wear extension hair look at our mentality our problem is not the government it's not really the political leaders it is us our mentality our understanding our perspective our point of views sometimes they are work and that's why most of us are running away which is not the answer which is terrible for us to do but at least it feels good to feel that peace and freedom sometimes and that realization sometimes it, it feels good to get out of that hit okay um so yes i also went to a five-star hotel and i got a job that day with conroe no it's not conroe it was alata okay I, i'm going to share the picture i'll share the picture with you it was alata i got there and and i got a job you can have braids for three months nobody cares nobody's telling you to change it because even you changing your hair wrap until is going to scare them because they are not used to that you know they are not used to extension and fake hair so that scares them also if you came in to um associate yourself with only africans or black people don't come because there are very very few black people here in spain or in barcelona very few okay and um it's so hard to find out a black saloon uh, it's just so hard to find all of those because they are not much people and as you know we black people we don't so much love ourselves so we don't like to associate for, with ourselves so we don't know where to find other black sisters or black brothers who are giving black services do you understand what i mean yes it is like that um um what again yes um about racism in spain to some level i would say there is no racism that's my experience. The experience I've had, I've never in five years and counting had any form of racism coming from a Spanish person. However, I've encountered racism coming from a Cuban, a Chinese, and then Argentinian girl. Okay, a Cuban, black, 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 black looking guy more than me was a racist against me. He told me Africans think when he got to know that I'm from Africa because I told him, he asked me, are you Spanish? I said, no, I'm from Ghana. And he said, hmm, those people think a lot. Africans think. I'm like, 
Oh my God, you even blacker than me. Do you know your history? Do you know how you ended up in Cuba? Do you know your fucking history? You telling me I think? So things like that. In Chinese, I have a big deal with Chinese. Not all of them do because some of them are really sweet and cute. I go to the Chinese shop to buy and they're really, really, really nice, some of them. And some of them are just boo. Like, they push you and they don't know how to say sorry. They are racist, some of them. But some are really cool. So my experience is 50-50 when it comes to um, Chinese people here in Barcelona, but I have my, I've had my racism experience from a Chinese woman, Argentinian woman, Argentinian girl, and a Cuban guy. So that's it. Not from a Spanish person. Um, I have Spanish family. I have Spanish friends from this region, Barcelona, a Catalonia region. And I will tell you, they are nice. They are sweet. They are just like human. Okay. They are people who are friends with you really really close and people who are not people who are just human like like everywhere um level of discrimination yes it is everywhere it is in ghana it is in here it is everywhere to some level so but come to talk about racism no you're welcome in the shop they attend to you calling you darling queen beauty all of that like great if you are used to, that's why I said it depends on where you're living. I live in a community where there are a lot of native people. So I go to the local shops. I buy from the local people. And when you go to the local people where there are no thousands of clients, they are more relaxed. So they attend to you beautifully, calling you beauty, sweetheart, and they help you. I mean, I feel more attended to, more respected, uh, more well-treated in Spain than in Ghana. That's my experience. And if they are being friends with you, is genuine. Is genuine. I'm not saying they are perfect humans. No, 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 no. Not at all. And to tell you, they also have their pros and cons. There are other issues that I don't like here that is not cool that I'll talk about in other videos. But to be honest, the level of genuity is high compared to what I face in Ghana. In Ghana, I feel like if somebody is being nice to me, they're expecting someone in return. And if I'm being nice to somebody, even though I am not expecting anything in return, but because of the environment they live in and the experience, they feel like, oh, you're going to ask for something in return. In Ghana, I'm not able to get favors from a guy especially, and that's it. I will be fucked. He's looking for a pussy for that kindness he's giving to me. Whereas here, it's not like that. If somebody want to fuck you, they want to fuck you not to give you anything or not to get anything from you. They just want to fuck. I prefer that. You know? And that's one thing about their men. They are so sweet. They are charming. But eh, remember, you're exotic. You're foreign. You're new. You're something new to them. So everybody would like to have a little bit of this experience. So just be careful. However, if they don't want a relationship, most Spanish guys will go straight to the point and tell you, which will sound a little bit disrespectful to you if you are like a world uh, African cultured girl, like a man coming to you and saying he just wants sex with you or just want to kiss you, is like, eh, eh, you know. But if if come to think of it, what do you prefer? Do you prefer a guy to tell you he loves you, but then he just wanted sex, or you prefer a guy who tell you straight he wants sex, and if you're into it, you go on with it. If you're not interested in, you move to the next level. Yeah. So me, I prefer him telling me the straight. And that's my experience from several of them. They tell you what they want. They tell you they don't want relationship. And yeah, take their words for their words. Okay, they don't want a relationship. Don't think that uh, they're going to fall sometimes. No, this doesn't work with black men or doesn't work with white men or green men. If a man tells you, I'm not ready for this. I just want sex. Just let your mind be there. Don't, don't expect anything. And if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't happen... You're on your own because he told you and that's how the men are so i like that the bureaucracy here is crazy but it's not against foreigners or black people it's just their bureaucracy for every everybody okay and they have 
there are highs and lows i'm going to cover that in that in, in, in a different video but i'm well attended to when i go to other offices sometimes they mess you up sometimes they really mess you up but you have to be a fighter you go there especially because of the language if you don't understand the language there can be a problem so understand a little bit of language because very less of them speak english of course they are living in their country why should they learn english and wait for you to to service you when they are not uh, please so it's not their fault learn a little bit of spanish when you come here because that's the language they speak and then um yeah uh, they will attend to you very nicely but sometimes language can be a barrier like when i'm renovating my residency i don't have problems sometimes i go to the offices and i forget to take a document like to do a photocopy of a document this was an experience and then the officer just took the original documents and did a photocopy of that so for me that's kindness i didn't have to go back home and come rebook and come another week that was like a, a that would have been a torture but it was kind and then i didn't even have to ask for it. he just said oh you don't have a photocopy of this and then he took it and went to do the photocopy so things like this so i feel cool i feel really 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 cool and also there there is an international community here and um it also includes some locals so you will get if you are associating yourself on facebook going out to meet international community if you are here to integrate you feel cool regardless of who you are you will feel really cool but if you just want to come here and associate yourself with your race especially the uh, us african race then there's going to be a lot a little bit of problem because there are not much of that here and then finally i would like to talk about racism again I would say in a whole um spanish people are more ignorant than racist to the black race okay or to the african race and somebody asked me what is your definition and i said my definition of that is a racist is somebody who doesn't want to come into contact or associate him or herself with another race talk of knowing them their culture their pain their struggle their history no this person doesn't want to do anything kaput whereas an ignorant person on a race is somebody who doesn't mind they don't mind coming in contact or associating themselves with this race but they absolutely know nothing about this race or they have false speculation or false assumptions or false belief about this particular race like in spain um, some people will ask a lot, a lot, not one time, not two time, not in my first year, not in my, like continuously. People will ask, oh, where are you coming from? I'm like, Ghana. Mm, Ghana, 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 Ghana. And I'm like, West Africa. Oh, West Africa. Great. ¿Y qué tal? ¿Y qué tal como? Eh, Económicamente. Ah. I get a, I pass. Which means, is the war, is the peace, um, economically, how is it? I'm like, what? Economically, is almost like Spain. It's, it's not good. It's just like here. Um, of course, the euro is more than ours. Fa, fa, fa. It's like six times our money, but it's the same shit economically. Um, peace? A lot of peace. A lot of peace. No war. What the fuck you think we just wake up we have nothing to do so we just wake up and then we start fighting we start killing ourselves no hell no it's one of the most peaceful country in the world i can say that ghana yeah no no war you know like that pissed me off a lot like read you have a smartphone you can't let your phone be smarter than you read a little bit <laughs> Like, I'm not expecting you to know everything about every country. I don't even know the existence of some countries, of course. But it's so annoying when they ask that. Like, Spain and Ghana, they are so close. Why you ask me if there is war? There's no war, you know? So things like this. Things like this. And sometimes people do come to me. They really want to go to Ghana. And they're like, um, mm, I'm going to Ghana. Like, but I'm so scared. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Is there security? Uh what the hell what the fuck some of you are even too poor you're even too poor for us you know so we don't steal from you we cannot even steal from you because you don't have anything you don't have to be scared okay um, <laughs> that 
things like that has bothered me you know like i went to ghana with my best friend we went to three regions she didn't lose a thing we came back she got a phone in barcelona standing on the roadside a guy on a motor came and took snapped the phone out of her hand on the street and now she's paranoid she was paranoid she was putting her phone in her pants when we go out <laughs> no jokes no jokes really no jokes so this you see ghana is safe ghana is safe it's secured okay it's safe it's secure this is what i tell them so you get ignorant questions like that but it they, they are happy to know you they associate with you i've been in dancing groups i did my masters here I, so i messed up with them and international people i will tell you the international folks are a bit ugly than the natives here to be honest with you people coming outside out of spain really foreigners are not really so kind and nice to each other say like the natives i'll tell you spanish people are much nicer to me than uh, uh foreigners i work with spanish they pay me and i worked with the foreigners and they were cheating me they were cheating me british they were cheating me two girls two british they were cheating me and then the spanish person was paying me so this is it you feel super good i feel super good super super love super welcome uh very very relaxed most importantly very relaxed and i feel uh, the genuinity of and I feel genuity of uh, people's kindness and love uh, towards me on a higher level than I feel in, in, in Ghana than I felt in Ghana so um, I will just leave this video here I will talk about other things the next and the positive things about Spain about living here in Spain in um other topic because this video is already long so let's just keep it here thank you very much for watching this video share your comments below tell me if you want me to do some videos some topics you want me to cover i'll be doing i'll, I'll be just have patience for me i'll be i'll be doing a lot okay i'll be doing a lot but for now ciao stay motivated and inspired